Hello home bakers and welcome to episode 2 of my Baking 101 series all about the beginner's guide to baking ingredients. Today is all about O sugar, learning about the different sugars used in baking. To start off with, I thought it'd be a good idea to take you to my local supermarket to look at the different types of sugar that you might also find at your local supermarket. And then after this, I'll be talking in depth about the different types of sugar. So at the end of this video, you'll know all there is to know about the different types of sugar used in baking. So first off, I gathered different types of brown sugar. So we have the light brown sugar and dark brown sugar. Also type of sugar called the Muscovado sugar. This also comes in light or dark version. So these type of brown sugars I will use for making um, sponge cakes, cookies, brownies, um, gingerbread cakes. So it's useful to have this in your kitchen cupboard as you do find this used in a lot of cake recipes. I also found golden castor sugar and golden granulated sugar. These are not commonly found sugars, so don't be worried if you don't find these in your local supermarket. I don't think they're essential to have unless you specifically have recipe that calls for this sugar, but it's useful to know that you can get these type of sugars. You will also find a wide variety of white sugar here we have icing sugar, fondant icing sugar, granulated sugar and jam sugar. These different types of white sugar vary in the consistency of the sugar grain and also the additional um, element. So they have various uses. The jam sugar, as the name implied, is used for uh, making jam. Granulated sugar is a staple that every home baker should have. And icing sugar is used to make um, icing and frosting. So every home baker should have these two um, types of sugar at home. To understand why there are so many different types of sugar, let's take a closer look at how sugar is made. Sugar as we know it is made from sugar cane or from sugar beet. Now sugar cane or sugar beet are crushed and the juices are extracted from them. These are heated to form molasses. And then from then you can make different types of sugar. So white sugar is made by removing the molasses, while brown sugar is white sugar with molasses. So that's the basic difference between brown and white sugar. White sugar has no molasses, whilst brown sugar either retains original molasses or it's made of white sugar with the molasses added back in. This is why if your recipe calls for white sugar, you really can't substitute it with brown sugar as they are made of different consistency and your baked product may not turn out the way that you expect. When you bake with brown sugar, you'll find that your goods are softer and moister because brown sugar has more moisture. Also, brown sugar gives your baked good a more browner sort of colour. There are different types of sugar as I showed you in the supermarket aisle. So let's take a look in depth about the different types of sugars that you may find in a baking recipe. First off, we're gonna start with the baker's staple, granulated sugar. Every baker should have a bag of this at home. It's refined sugar and it's very common. We use it for baking everything from cakes to brownies, waffles, pancakes, you mention it. That's what it's used for. Icing sugar is also common. It's also called powdered or confectioner's sugar. And it's a fine powdery um, sugar used for making buttercream, frostings and in syrup. Castor sugar is also another common sugar. It's made from granulated sugar, but it has much finer, smaller crystals. And it's used for making cakes, meringues, mousses and custard. If you don't have castor sugar at home, you can easily make it yourself by putting some granulated sugar in a food processor until it's finely ground, sieving twice 
And there you have it, you've made caster sugar at home. You might also find uh, golden caster sugar, which is caster sugar, but it's had added molasses, which gives it its characteristic brown colour. This can be used interchangeably with caster sugar. Now on to brown sugar. So brown sugar is white sugar with molasses added to it. And you can have light or brown one, depending on how much molasses is being added to the sugar. There are lots of uses for brown sugar in baking. In my kitchen, I use it to make cookies, muffins, brownies, pudding, and also it's really good in making um, sauces as well. Muscovado sugar is a special type of sugar. It's unrefined uh, brown sugar. It's not as common uh, in supermarkets, but I quite like using it because it has a very nice complex um, flavour and I use it in place of um, brown sugar. You might find Demerara sugar in your local supermarket. It has quite large sugar crystals and it's good for making things like biscuit and flapjack because it has a coarse and crunchy texture. Royal icing sugar is white sugar with added egg white. It sets to a hard finish and it's good for making royal icing, which you can use to decorate your cakes and cookies. When I'm making jam, I use jam sugar. It has added pectin and citric acid and it helps my jam and jelly set better. So if you're going to be making jam at home, use jam sugar for this. Fondant ice and sugar is not very common and it's used for making glazes and uh, cake decoration. It's basically ice and sugar with added glucose syrup. So now you know all about your sugar and you'll be able to find out and work out which sugar you need to use when you are baking. Happy baking! Thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to like this video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment and I'll see you next time for episode 3. Please don't forget to subscribe to Dr Mummy Cakes channel.